Collecting retro video games can be great fun, but what happens if you live in an area without a good secondhand store that doesn't have a swap meet, or if you can't make it to some of the great expos and conventions out there, like the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, Midwest Gaming Classic, or the Mo Game Con? Well, that is where the folks from Video Games Monthly have got a great service that you might want to check out. Hey, everyone. Gary here with Rocksaw Productions. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our unboxing for our December 2022 Video Games Monthly Box. Now, what I want to know from you down in the comments, where do you get your games from? Really interested to see, do you go to conventions, swap meets, do you have a local store? I'm lucky, I get to go to several shows throughout the year. I have a great store here locally in live action games but I also subscribe to Video Games Monthly. So what this is, think of it like Netflix, when they still did DVDs, but you get to keep the games each and every month. You can select from a number of different retro video game systems from the Intellivision and the Atari 2600 forward to things like the NES, Super NES, import systems, even now including the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One S and One X. And there's a number of different tiers that you can subscribe to, starting about $35, gets you three games per month, all the way up to over $80 a month, and it'll get you 10 games. So we do the three game per month tier, and we have selected a number of different systems that we collect for. We're looking for the Japanese GameCube, the NES, the Sega Master System, and a couple other ones. So let's go ahead, let's see what we got in this month's box. All right, so the way that we do our video games monthly unboxing every month, this is a blind draw. I don't see what we get before you do. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see what we have. So I feel a couple of cards in here. And I think I only feel three games. So let's see what we have. Slide that back, we've got our cards. Let's see, first and foremost, we hope you enjoy your latest box. Please remember to update your library on the website by adding these games and any other games you may have acquired. All updates to your gaming library must be made seven days prior to the end of the month. Um, and then you can also post your games on social media for a chance to win three extra games in your next box. And then they do have a partnership with pre, uh, Premium Edition Games uh, where you can go ahead and pre-order. Let's see, they, they Bleed Pixels is the bottom one. And Raji, I think, is the top one. Uh, nothing on the back. So no one-up card that I can feel or two-up. And basically what a one-up or a two-up is, is basically you get either one or two extra games in here. There's something else here. What do we got? Let's see. Play the past into the future. Videogamesmonthly.com. So like a uh, just a bracelet or something along those lines. Let's see. Our first game that we have here. Woo! Japanese GameCube game, and this is Sonic Advance 2, I think? No, Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Uh, so it does have the uh, name of the game on the side. I absolutely love the look and design of these Japanese GameCube games. Uh, let's see if this is complete as well. Looks like we have a very crispy looking manual. There's the game. Club Nintendo, I'm gonna check and see if I can uh, turn in this Club Nintendo uh, number there. And this instruction manual is in beautiful, beautiful shape. Uh, we'll pop the value on here uh, so you can kind of see what this is worth. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at the disc too. There was a while where they were getting at uh, some smudges and whatnot on it when they ran it through their disc polisher. Now this one, I can actually see some scratches, but we'll make sure that it plays. Um, and if there are any issues, I'll just reach out to the team over at Video Games Monthly. They have very good customer service, and I know they will take care of me on that. So very cool to get Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Up next, we have, oh yeah, Biohazard 4, also known here in the States as Resident Evil 4. Uh, this is for, again, the Japanese GameCube. Now, if I remember right, the GameCube version was actually multi-discs. And this is also multi-disc 2. Let's see, this is... Does it say, this is disc 2. This one looks pretty good. A little bit of polishing compound left over there. And then... Disc one. That looks pretty good there too. Let's check out the manual real quick. 
<laughs> That's awesome. 126, 2005 for the uh, Resident Evil movie on DVD. Has some more stuff there regarding the movie. I think this is The Ring. No, that was Ringo or Ringu or something like that. I'm not sure what movie that is. Maybe this is Seven Days. Seven Days. Oh, you could get a Biohazard watch. And then here is the manual. Again, beautiful, beautiful shape on this. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if this is dubbed in English as well, or if it is only Japanese. We will do a little bit of gameplay here to find out for you. Absolutely love the game cases and the sleeves for Japanese uh, GameCube games. And again, we'll pop the value of this one on screen. And got a case to game here. Feels like a Genesis, maybe a Master System game. Oh yeah, California games. Uh, I had this for the NES. I never, I don't remember if I played this before or not. Um, the tab is really poorly cut off here, so uh, I hate to see that. Let's pop this open. So it is uh, no manual. Ooh. So this is the blue label variant, not in the greatest of shape, which will affect the value a little bit. Um, but one thing we're gonna do here too, is we're gonna pop this open and check out the condition of the pins and see how clean they are. So with Master System games, a lot of times you'll find yourself, you don't need any special tools besides a Phillips screwdriver to get in here. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Wow, that's a tight one. It's tight like a Toyger. So taking a look at those pins, there's definitely signs of wear and tear on these. Um, yeah, in fact, we're gonna give you an even closer look here with our microscope. Okay, so this is a little bit of overkill, but I wanted you to be able to see what I was looking at. So taking a look here, we're gonna use our screwdriver here. You can see on just the PCB, the marks there. You can also see wear and tear marks on the pins themselves. Now, this isn't terrible but it is something that we are gonna go ahead and clean up a little bit here. And I'll show you exactly how I do that in a second. And then we'll take a look at this under the uh, lens here a little bit more. So you can see, again, just the condition of the pins. You can see wear marks like right here. You can kind of see the, the up and down scuff marks. You see them there too. So we've got a really easy process for you to go ahead and clean this. And this would probably work without a problem on our system, but we wanna just make extra sure we're keeping this stuff out of our system. So to clean games like this, I use something called a one-up cleaning card. And actually, no, this was not, uh, they've actually included these as bonus items in the past with Video Games Monthly. So what it has is a fluid side and a dry side, and they have the one-up cleaning fluid. It's isopropyl alcohol, that's all it is. They are very transparent with that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just apply a little bit of fluid to the fluid side. And now to clean your games like with one of these, you don't need to open them like I just did. I did that so you all could see the pins. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna take the fluid side and we're gonna scrub this clean. Now, uh, for really filthy games, um, you know, I have another um, solvent that I use called Bright Boy and that is more of a metal polisher or metal cleaner. I don't think this is gonna need Bright Boy on it, but we just wanna make sure that we're keeping as much of that gunk out of our system as possible. I'm gonna flip it over, get this side too. Now, if you notice as well, I'm making sure I'm not touching the pins on the front side now that I've cleaned them. And we're gonna take the back side, we're gonna dry off the back, and we'll flip it back over and get the front. Now, I can still see like the top of the wear marks here, um, it's not anything super terrible, but it's something that I'm noticing. And quite honestly, this isn't gonna prevent the game from working, it's not. I'm just trying to keep this gunk out of our system. Um, I could go ahead and hit this with the Bright Boy Metal Polisher. I'm not going to do that. I don't think this necessarily needs it. Now that this is clean, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back in the case and it goes with, this is actually the game right here. We're gonna put that side down, making sure again, not to touch the pins. It only goes in one direction. Terrible band, by the way. Dr. Teeth and the Electric Nightmare, a lot better band than One Direction ever will be. Get everything lined back up, and then we're just gonna use our Phillips screwdriver to reinstall the screws. Now, one tip, anytime you are screwing into something plastic, unscrew first. You will set the 
uh, head of the screw in the threads before you go ahead and screw it all the way in. Don't over tighten, you don't need to go crazy with how you know tight this is. And we're gonna flip the game upside down just to keep it in focus here a little bit better, hopefully. Same type of thing. And there we have a cleaned pin version of California games. Now, one thing again, just to kind of show that you don't need to take the game apart, this is how you would normally clean this with a one-up cleaning card. You just take it, put it in the game itself, run it back and forth like so, and like so, 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 so. That's all you have to do to clean your retro gaming cartridges. Wow, exceptional value out of the box that we got this month. Even without a one-up or anything, this is a great set of games. Now, the fact that California Games is without the manual affects the value a little bit, but in total, we're looking at about 70 to $75 worth of games for a $40 investment, that is pretty good. Now, the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Biohazard 4, absolutely love these. I love getting Japanese GameCube games. As you can see, we have the uh, Super Mario Tennis playing behind me for the Japanese GameCube. Absolutely love the way that these came out of the box. Now, if you are looking to subscribe to Video Games Monthly, I will have a link down below in a pinned comment where you can go ahead and do so. And even if you already have it yourself, you can actually go ahead and get gift certificates for others so they get the gift of games throughout the year. This is December, Christmas, and the holidays are right around the corner. This is really, really cool. But I love the fact that I've been getting some awesome Japanese GameCube titles. Now, moving forward, I think next month, I'm gonna take Japanese GameCube off of the list, maybe try to get some more Super NES or Super Famicom. We'll see what we get here. Let me know down in the comments, what system would you like to see me collect for? I mean, I've got you know a nice collection of NES, Super NES, Genesis, you know, pretty much almost any system that they offer, I have. I haven't gotten into the handhelds. I may add, GBA games, because Lord knows I have GBAs behind me where I can go ahead and play those sort of games. Let me know again down in the comments. And if you want to see some of our other unboxings where we go through and check out what we get, what value we have, and of course, the condition of the games as they come out of the box, I will have those videos linked for you right up there. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rock Solid Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Productions swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk, and Twitter at Rocksolid Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID Solid 10 when you're shopping at castlemaniagames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.